for the moment, let's just finish class by applying this normal subgroup test to an example. Uh, and I'll pick an example from the book. It's an example, with, it's a matrix group. Um, the claim is that SL2R is a normal subgroup of GL2R. This is an example. What are these things again? I'm not going to write down the set description of these, but I'll just verbally describe them. GL2R, we've seen that before. That's called the general linear group of all two by two matrices with real entries whose determinant is non-zero so that they're invertible. We're talking linear algebra here. Under the operation of matrix multiplication, not matrix addition. This is a group. Say it again, all two by two matrices with real entries. And you assume when you write this symbol that the determinant of these matrices is non-zero so that they are invertible, they have inverse matrices. That'll be a group under matrix multiplication. SL2R is called the special linear group. G means general, S means special of all two by two matrices with real entries, entries <clears throat> whose determinant equals one exactly. The identity matrix has a determinant of one, so it's definitely in there. There are other matrices that are not the identity that have a determinant of one. If the determinant's one, it's not zero. So this is definitely a subset of that. In fact, it's a subgroup. It's closed under multiplication. If you multiply two matrices with a determinant equal to one by this property of determinants, the product also has determinant equal to one. If A and B have determinant one, so does their product. Also, if A has determinant one, its inverse will have determinant one by this property. That's meant to help you believe SL2R is a subgroup. What about being a normal subgroup? I can use the normal subgroup test, show that this is true, where X is a matrix and H is SL2R. Show this is a subset of H. Give me an arbitrary matrix in here when H is this thing. Show it's the results gotta be still in SL2R. Uh, I'll use a capital X. Give me an arbitrary A in SL2R, special linear group of two by two matrices with real entries, where X is not necessarily in SL2R. Those things are in GL2R, but not necessarily in SL2R. They, I mean, they could be, but they don't have to be. I want to show this product is an SL2R. I want to show this thing is an H still. How do you do, do, do that? I got to show its determinant as one. So take its determinant. Use a property of determinants again to say this. Continue using property of determinants. Determinant of X inverse is one over the determinant of X. These are a bunch of numbers. Cancel those two numbers, you get the determinant of A, and since I'm assuming A is an SL2R, its determinant is one. Therefore, the determinant of this product is also one. So kind of a fancy high-level example of a kind we don't think about much, but it is kind of a nice example that illustrates the normal subject test. It's in the book, you can read it there too.